Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fallout Roundtable. This is a place where diverse individuals discuss various topics from the Fallout universe. Join us, the conversation has already started. Welcome to Fallout Roundtable. Oh yeah, that's right. Get everyone get ready for a, for a wild ride. It's me, Gingerito. Hi everybody, welcome to the Fallout Roundtable. It's your host, Gingerino, joined today with Dawn, as always, sassy lady, and Lawrence from Modus Files podcast. We also have another guest today. We got Warpath and Warpath plus one? Warpath, Warpath and Minion works just fine. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what the, the moniker that you want to go by is, so you should probably let me know. Minion. They're shrugging their shoulders. Minion. There you go. Sounds Mini good. Warpath. I like Mini Warpath. Awesome. Uh, we are a okay, Fallout just... discussion podcast. We're going to be discussing all things Fallout or Fallout Tangent, as some things today might go as. If you uh, want to follow the show, get involved in any way, you can find us on Twitter slash X. What are we calling it? Twitter. Twitter. We're going to call it Twitter? <laughs> yeah. Screw you. I have a hard time us. calling it X. We're going to call it Twitter anyways, you crazy man. Um. Even at followed rtb you can email us followed rtb at gmail.com we're also on youtube if you want to see people's talking heads no jaxis today to give us weird graphics which some of you might be a fan of or not a fan of <laughs> uh but yeah that's how you can follow us get involved with the show ask questions and you can join on the show just like warpath and minion have today and yeah it'd be great to have everyone on we're gonna hand it off to sassy to get the first half of today's episode going okay so, like uh, like Ginger said, you are welcome to come onto the show and hang out with us, and you're welcome to bring your own topics and uh, discuss something that's been on your mind or, you know, just something that you want to beat around with or just see what we can have fun with. And that's what Warpath has done today. We have a topic of uh, what fictional character we would think that would do well in Fallout or who we'd maybe like to see in Fallout. So that's what we're bringing up today so if you want to kick it off we're path you guys can talk about um you know what you well, think actually it was her idea for the topic ah, okay that was the minions idea i like minion it minion waves <laughs> yeah the actual idea came from the dog episode yeah uh that was a good episode you all discuss the fictional <laughs> dogs i did not I expect that discussion movie. to go with the, as long as it did <laughs> it's like dogs and fallout. How, how crazy is that? Yeah. And yet I mean... here we are. Minions like I have more to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. King Bob. Okay. King Bob. King Bob. Where is that from? <laughs> no idea. All right. Minions. Yeah. Oh, thank. Oh, and I should know that. I've seen all those movies. I hate myself now. I hate it so much. All right. Cool. Um, you yeah. haven't even well, gotten to the point yet where your kid's watching the same movie 15 times a day. Thank you, robots. <laughs> uh-uh. I watch uh, Trash Truck on Netflix. Thank you very much. We watch Bob the Builder incessantly. <laughs> Gross. All right. Back on track. Back on track. Uh, fictional characters. What have you? What do you guys got for us? Clearly, this is something you're passionate about. I got group because in uh, New Vegas, where you're, you get dead and then you get buried buried alive, technically, he can just sprout out back into a tree and then just come out. That does make sense. And plus, you know, full kaiju. Yeah. Ooh, I would love to see a kaiju version. That would make him a lot bigger than Deathclaw. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's I, am true. Re I am reminded of Harold, actually, the, the guy that turned into a tree. Yeah. That's what I, I was know, thinking that was... My thoughts too. <laughs> yeah, Harold. They could probably hang out. Groot and Harold. Maybe Harold uh, could interpret for Groot. Since I don't Groot know if only says I am Groot. Could they hang out? They're a little too far apart. Their roots would have to. They'd have to touch roots, and then they could talk through their. You their keep root forgetting touching. that Groot can walk around. Harold can't. Not anymore. <laughs> he could in the beginning. And not by the time Fallout Three came. <laughs> right. Wait, what's the time frame for Fallout New Vegas and Fallout Three? Can they even like? Are they even in the same time? Time? Yeah, time? They're, they're. I think they're. They're actually only a few years apart. Yeah, I think they're oh, pretty yeah, similar. Totally yeah, they're within the same general time frame. There you go. I am courier. Can just walk straight across the wasteland. Over. I am courier. <laughs> I am courier. All Harold needed was a friend. That's right. 
I love it. So a, a Groot character in Fallout. I, I, you know what? I could see Groot handling it mostly well. Although the searing heat, as long as he doesn't, I don't as think. As long as nobody sets him on fire. Yeah, he wouldn't get ca caught on fire. I think the like the combustion level for for wood in general is a lot higher than people think it is. What well, was the, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three? One of the scenes they were on a desert planet. So yeah, he was fine. I mean, yeah, I think just, yeah, I think just deserts not enough to do it. Now, if Groot was in Fallout, he would have to drink the irradiated water. Would that change him from the inside out, though? I don't think it would actually affect him. True, because it's already technically mm. a mutant. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's already... So it would make him more normal, is what it would do. It can't... It, 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 it can't Turn him into right? a regular tree. <laughs> <laughs> I checked the science. Radiation does cancel out. You can just throw radiation at each other. Boom, it's over. Yeah, no, no more special abilities for you. <laughs> you just come to the tree with legs and just walks around with saying nothing, just going. Uh, yeah, Aww. career. That would be sad. Okay, I guess it's my there. turn now. Do mm -hmm. it. Mine is Wolverine, and mm. anyone that's played Fallout knows that there's several perks named after Wolverine: the adamantium skeleton, Berserker oh, yeah. Rage. That's, that's true. You got the healing what? factor. The he's time I claws. did a playthrough named as Logan. Yeah, you're right. You did. No, he's meaner than <laughs> he's meaner than most death most death claws. So that's true. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't think Wolverine would have any issues. I, man, with all the things you're describing, I feel that's like true. you could actually just role play as Wolverine in the Fallout games. <laughs> you just I got I my death. Claws. Actually, if you had if you had, uh, do if you could do a wheel death claw gauntlets, there you go. That would be yeah, exactly your, uh... that would be the best if they if they could let you put one in each hand. There you go. Yeah. yeah, you can only do one awesome. hand, I guess. That's right. You see, uh, now in '76, you can get the like the wolf head and everything. <laughs> it's even better. Man, that's good. You don't really like need it, it but I'm the best there is at what I do. Fun. What I do isn't very nice. <laughs> I'm incredibly right hand dominated Wolverine with my adamantium <laughs> skill and my one set of claws. I, you know what? That kind of makes me want to see how how much you could pull it off because I'm sure the choices in all the games would allow you to role play well enough as him. I don't know about the tragic backstory of how you got the adamantium skeleton, but whatever. You know, whatever. That's just for the head cannon. Well, you go through enough crap and fallout that it's bound to happen. Yeah, you could pretty much just say it happens. Yeah. Well, you know, the maybe the uh, institute came up with it. Maybe it's one of those off-screen things, like how you know your your uh, your player character must go to the bathroom at some point, but you never see it. You just assume it happens. So you go in the term. suit. In the power armor, there's a little tube. You go in the suit. <laughs> but Wolverine doesn't okay, wear... Okay, somebody like... put way too much thought into that one. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have a suit suit, does he, Wolverine? No, he just... No, not Wolverine. But you said in Fallout. You don't see that. That's where that came from. That's if you're wearing a suit. So are you... Wait, so are you telling me that in Fallout, your character's holding it in until they get power armor? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> The well, moment they the get case, power My poor girl's going to have one hell of a UTI time. because I don't ever wear it. <laughs> I like Wolverine. That's a good one. I didn't even think about a... the X-Men. See, my favorite... <laughs> my favorite superhero <laughs> is Spider-Man, and he would he would die in the wasteland. There's nothing to swing on. <laughs> it depends on which wasteland. It depends on which wasteland. Uh, yeah, but okay, I mean, if we're so, talking Mojave, yeah, Spider Man's not going to survive. Nothing out there, but if he's in the Common capital, capital wasteland, wasteland, yeah, but then he's just surrounded by horrible monsters everywhere he goes. There's no crime to fight, it's just monsters. He fights crime, not super mutants. Everybody knows that. But that is, crime. um, have you seen some of his villains? <laughs> no, you, have you heard of Raiders? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. I feel like Spider Man would have an identity crisis and Fallout, so I don't think my my guy Peter just can't do it. Well, I was just going to say, I think the super mutants are actually trespassing on the Capitol grounds. So there you go. Uh -huh. There you go. They committed a crime. <laughs> that's a, I'm like right I'm up saying, a citation. Like, that's, that's all they do is get run. that Peter Parker brand sarcastic humor in there. Golden. That's what They're we need. hurting the poor people of the of the wasteland. So <laughs> yeah, like where that's I the mean, first place Lord Modus Files goes. It's he's just like shot a uh, death claw. Yeah, they're sure. trespassing. I mean, they're killing <laughs> exactly. people too, but they're trespassing. <laughs> they jaywalked. <laughs> They jaywalked. <laughs> as you as you as you uh, as you use bloody mess to just explode them into a bunch of pieces. That's great. Oh yeah. What was he doing? He jaywalked. <laughs> what, what, what minion? What did you say? 
So I said that he can just wrap a death claw up like a little fly and just go. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, like web them all up and, and they can't do it. It depends on which Spider-Man we're talking about. Are we talking about he has to scientifically conjure his own webs or that the one that makes it with no. his own body juices? That one. That second <laughs> one. That one. That one. of simplicity. Let's go with that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sure. Damn, so really how can it that we can't think of now. anything but Ding Dong here's got a list of like 12? <laughs> well, I've, I've got quite the list that I could work from. <laughs> so does Maverick. <laughs> oh, is that what that list was about? Yes, that's what this oh, list is. Oh my goodness, man. I feel even stupid tagged now. me on to make sure I had it. <laughs> okay, see, I thought he wanted to... I thought he just wanted so, us to talk about this because I thought it yeah. was like... A sh Never mind. Do you want me to, to talk about it? <laughs> this paragraph. Wow, look at the that you know what? Some of that's cool. <laughs> okay, Optimus Prime. That's the one. Mav said Optimus Prime amongst Optimus many Prime. others. That would be pretty uh, cool. Yeah, but we, we already have, have trouble Prime. getting like, around. Prime. Exactly. We can have an actual like giant have neck battle. Vehicle. Oh yeah. See, there you go. Could you see like Optimus Prime versus Death Claw? No, Liberty Prime. That's what Modus oh. Files brought up. Well, why would Optimus Prime fight Liberty Prime? Because they're like, only one of us can be prime. So it's like, either you oh drop the prime or I do. And so they'll fight to the death over it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, you didn't know this, but Optimus that. Prime is actually very petty. You, you have to Apparently. read between the lines a little bit, but it's in there. <laughs> um, or Liberty yeah, Optimus prime. prime does have some control issues. <laughs> Maybe Liberty Prime was like, oh, you were made in China. Obviously, you're communist. <laughs> 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 so Optimus Prime made in China. Well, wait, what brand of truck is he? Okay, we're getting too. We don't know. This. I don't know. I don't think it says. Uh, like a I Mac Peterbilt. Let's see what else we got on here. Um, John Wick, Katniss Everdeen. Katniss Everdeen. I feel like a lot of these you could actually play as characters like that. Katniss would like like There's no bows or anything in Fallout, which shocks me. Yeah. Huh. I mean, I there is a 76. That. You can you can use crossbows. Well, 76 has uh, they have they have a bow and you can use a bow and arrow in 76. They, they have bows in 76. They don't in in the others. I don't know because I don't. No, uh, you can. I always wondered about that one. There are mods for Fallout 4 that allow you to use a bow. What are you yeah. doing? I know Not 76 yet. does because you got to learn how to shoot animals with a bow to get your badge for the pioneer. Yeah, the yeah, the, the, the crossbow. Yeah. yeah, I mean 76 at least makes sense because it's so early after vaults mm -hmm. open that it's like, well, not everyone's found all the guns yet. But then again, I guess all the guns would be fresh. So <laughs> fresh, my guns. Fresh need guns. To be fresh. You know what I mean. My guns fresh. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We're, a sound. Don't give me those my... stinky stale guns. <laughs> yeah. The sound that came out of the hole in my face reached your ears, and you knew what I meant. So I communicated. All right, there, job done. Oh, dude. <laughs> what was another one on the list? Another oh, one on the list. Michael Myers, <laughs> Michael Myers from any Halloween movie. Michael Myers from any Halloween movie. I don't think I'd want to meet Michael Myers in the wasteland. You, no, no, no. I mean, unless you would be the Raiders. Nope. Raiders. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Raiders would even be terrified of him. That's what I'm thinking too. Thing, you're like polishing your gun or something. Next thing you know, pow, pow, you're dead. <laughs> I would love to see a mod included in Fallout where, like, no matter like, every so often, you just look uh, look around and Mike Myers' avatar <laughs> is standing just far enough like, away that you can like see creeping. Him. But he never, but he never reaches you. You just he always, you always think he's gonna reach you. Yeah, that's not good. Actually, you could do it like the Mothman. You know, you see the Mothman like, off in the distance, and then yeah. you could see it and just replace that with uh, with Michael Myers. Yeah, that'd be. Uh... I'm trying to think like other other like action movie characters. Like, I mean, I mean any any Stallone character you could throw into the wasteland. Uh, Rocky would not survive. No, but he's got John Rambo from the Rambo First Blood on here. <laughs> yeah, Rambo would uh, be an interesting one. I mean, but that's that's just basically Rambo and Barney from the Expendables would both work. Barney is a dinosaur. Yeah, that's a good one. Not uh, that I'm going with uh, the Escape from Prison version. <laughs> that's that's the one I'm going with. <laughs> that guy's crafty. Any, uh, pretty much any Jason Statham character. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. Anybody <laughs> that Jason Statham has played, because <laughs> he's badass. <laughs> 
actually yeah like what what's that one oh, i can't remember the name of it anymore it had that really interesting film style where it was very action oriented and it was like oh crap what was that wasn't the uh was that the one where he had his heart like yeah like his heart yeah crank yeah Right, I like yeah. that right, yeah. character in Fallout would be actually real fun to play. You constantly have to keep the action uh -huh. going. Got to drink energy drinks. Yeah. You... And he's, he's got to consistently use like what jet or something. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, keep going. Just keep it going. You go know what? I actually kind of want to see what a playthrough like that would be like, where it's like I'm gonna be crank. I'm gonna do the crank guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be Jason Statham. That would be crank. pretty wild. And if the yeah. action, you're if you're on Twitch and the action slows down for like more than half an hour, then. You die. <laughs> your Iron Man mode. You're, you're saving his life. Yeah. You got to start over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man, that would be bad. It would just be speed running, actually, is all it would be. It would just be a very chaotic, neutral speed run. I he like has that. Doc Brown from Back to the Future. Well, like the the, the crazy inventor guy. That would be a, that actually be a perfect Fallout character because it would be like the he'd be an NPC that would give you some kind of side quest. Yeah, that would be... I was just thinking like the person who would yeah, do that well. would definitely I mean, work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see a character like that in Fallout for sure. The archetype you can is travel definitely. In the past. Yeah. You can travel in the past and stop stuff that would be happening. That's true. But then we wouldn't have the wasteland. Then we wouldn't have Fallout. Go back Sa and don't. Sassy, you know, bigger picture here. People died. All right. Like, get your head out of your butt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Although that would be a fun set of uh, missions where, like, if you could go back or forward in the past just a little bit with oh a Doc Brown character. Like, if you go back and it's like you have to make a tiny the... tweak, but not enough to majorly change like, things, but just enough to tiny change. And then, like, you find out that every time you go back, you, like, screw something up. So you have to go back and do it again and keep trying to get it right. I was just about to say that you make too much of a change or not enough change. So you have to keep going back right. and back and back. Till you get it just it right. It ended up like the Family Guy episode where Stewie and Brian ended up running into like 500 versions of themselves. <laughs> I'd take yeah. that. I'll play that game. Oh, man. Time loop games are where it's at anyway, so. I don't think we well, need to talk about every one of his characters. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, just, uh, I mean, think about female characters. Um, Linda Hamilton, like from Terminator Oh, 2. yeah. Yeah. Sarah Connor. Terminator. Heck yeah. yeah, Sarah Connor. Um mm -hmm. Xena, warrior princess. <laughs> Wonder, Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Um, let's Why see. Oh, any... Pikachu. Tank Girl. Tank Girl. Tank Girl, right, would be awesome in the mm -hmm. Wasteland. Well, actually, because she was in the Wasteland. Wait, who's Tank Girl? You've never, you don't know Tank Girl? I probably do, just remind me. Where, where uh, would I see her from? Uh, well, Tank Girl was a so it was a graphic novel, and they made it into a um, it was a movie, and the actresses Phoenix were an animated show. Uh, what's her name? Uh, he knows. You don't. Lauren Petty. <laughs> Tank Girl is a nineteen ninety five American post apocalypse science fiction film directed by Rachel Telele, or however you pronounce it. I, I have no idea. Who this is? Although, yes, this just looking at photos, I'm like, this is basically just a Fallout character right there. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and she, oh, and they, uh, they end up hanging out. So there's Tank Girl, there's Jet Girl, and then they hang out with a bunch of mutant kangaroos. I am also so this is Fallout in Australia fun. then. Except I don't think they're in us. Well, I don't know exactly what country they're in, but they're in. Like there's no water on the planet anymore, and and so they're they're fighting against the evil water company that controls all the remaining water. Nestle. <laughs> that is weird. Dasani. <laughs> that was that's cool. I never heard about Tank Girl before. I did also Google Jet Girl, but I got a bunch of uh, mixed results that I want to discuss on a podcast. <laughs> yeah, your name is <laughs> no. This is the girl. Well, I think Amy I mean, Watts plays Jet Girl. Yes. It's actually one of her. Malcolm one of her, McDowell's in it. Yeah, one of her first roles. Malcolm McDowell played the the villain in the that bad movie. Bad guy. Of course he did. Wow. I mean, it's a five point four out of ten on IMDb and a forty one percent on Rotten Tomatoes, but I'm sure it's great. <laughs> well, I mean, it's for the time it was really good. I don't know how well it's aged. <laughs> yeah. No. But I mean, um, and it's probably one of those has like a cult following or something, you know? Oh, like, absolutely. You gotta yeah. be really into that. Alice from Evil. Who? Atlas from Resident Evil. Okay. Yep. I want to go with someone who's like 
who would find a way to pull it off, but in a really dumb way. You know, like Chuck from the show Chuck. <laughs> Have any of you seen that show? Deadpool. He brings up. You want somebody who do something the dumbest way possible? There we go. Yeah, well, You're Deadpool can't, can't really die. In the corner. Well, I was going to say, uh, Deadpool would would fit in perfectly with Wild Wasteland in Fallout New Vegas. That's, that Just does. all of the absolute <laughs> yeah. crazy stuff going on that out there. That does make sense. That does make sense. Why well, am I thinking magic? Uh, magic could be good. Doctor Strange. Oh, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange has got to be the most intriguing one. I like that. That's great. Yeah. I mean, the cool thing about Fallout is that you actually can role play as, you know, we mentioned it earlier, you can role play as most of these characters. Yeah. You really can't. Other than the superhero y, like. I know forever ago I saw kind of a mod stuff. that they actually set up where they could play as Quicksilver from X Men. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. With the super speed and everything. I guess with oh, the mods, wow. the, there you go. Or console commands. But they honestly, do... <laughs> I mean, if you just role play it right, I mean, it's all in your head anyway, so. You know, you just end up people are like, what are you doing? No, I'm role playing. Leave me alone. This is, yeah, this I'm is... role playing. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone to my This is how it is play. in my role play. This I'm a right hand dominant Wolverine, damn it. <laughs> I mean, you see all kinds of crazy stuff in 76 with like, you know, you wander into people's camps and it's got a very specific theme. Yeah. Um, you know, definitely love seeing. Uh, I saw a character the other day. It was a. Uh, uh, a, a woman with the beehive hair thing walking around with a dress and a chainsaw. And I was like, that's commitment. That's like, yeah. <laughs> you, you, that is not a character you want to mess with. I saw yeah, somebody who had, there yeah. was somebody who had the beehive uh, haircut and was wearing like the green dress and the hair was blue. And I was like, Marge. <laughs> <laughs> that's so like, good. That's <laughs> when your entire playthrough is dedicated to just being with one character. <laughs> so good. All right. Well, Does anybody have any other uh, people to throw in there, or they want to? I mean, we could just throw names out in the out, and then we would all just nod, and go, "Mm hmm, yep." So, well, what about <laughs> well, all right? So, so what about a go round of characters that would not, like, basically characters that would not Someone survive? Would not do land. well. Yeah. Would not do well. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh boy. I like a lot of those. Um, she said, Grogu. Who? Grogu. Grogu. I'm, see, I'm gonna. I don't I'm know, gonna though. say. I feel uh, like he probably would, though. I'm yeah. gonna say Olaf from Frozen. Like, <laughs> Olaf, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I can see <laughs> that would be great badly. Olaf, Kibbers, yeah. Kibbers. That would not. Olaf going to give a death claw a hug. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, he may be. He might be. <laughs> able especially to be in New somewhere. Vegas, like he would just melt. Yeah. I mean, he sang a song about it, so. Kibbers. That's what that's what he wants. That's what we're, we're going to give him. <laughs> Anyways, that's my Kibbers. answer. Beat that. The Care Bears? Yeah. I don't know, man. You seen the magic that comes out of their belly buttons? Yeah, you yeah. shoot a, you shoot a, a rainbow at a death claw and it turns into a flower pot. Uh -huh. I won't mess with that. I'm trying to think of somebody really off the wall. Sully from Monster Inc. No, Sully would do good. Sully probably would. Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski. Yeah. Mike Wazowski. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Wazowski would not make it in the wasteland. Boo. He's just or a big boo. ball of fluff. Or boo. I love looking at Sassy's and Modus's uh, thinking faces. <laughs> We're thinking. It's your your wonderful thinking well, I faces. Smell smoke. You got to go on to YouTube if you want to see any of this, folks. This quality <laughs> thinking face content right here. <laughs> well, I was thinking. I was thinking Wally. Why? You think Wally really? Well, I'm. He's. he's I got another one that would not survive the wasteland. I'm no, on, he wouldn't I'm on survive the wasteland because he'd try to clean everything up, and then somebody, and then the raiders would just scavenge him for parts. Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah, like, no, what's he gonna do? Nugget would not survive the wasteland. Uh, <laughs> what's Wally you know? gonna do? You're right. Like he's got nothing unless he like whips out uh, like a fat man out of nowhere. I don't think he's got anything on his side. I, mean, might find I think Wally Ooh. is just around pick up scrap. But he's yeah. got his like scrap and trash. He's got his uh, his side piece there, the the lady bought Eve or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She, oh, yeah. Uh, he'll yeah, mess yeah, you yeah. up. She was she was pretty. You touch her Wally, she's just gonna blast you. So that is very true, very true. <laughs> but you're right, Wally on his own, yeah, hot trash. 
<laughs> unpopular no, opinion. Literally what he picked up. Yeah. I mean, pretty much any character would be... Most characters would be good. I think there's not a whole lot that would be really bad. Vanilla Shivon Sweets. I can't say her name. Vanilla Shivon Sweets? Yeah, from Wreck-It Ralph. Oh. I don't know. You think she'd be bad? Yeah, she probably would be bad, yeah. Yeah, well, because she's uh, she's entirely digital, and the computers in Fallout can't handle that much uh, bandwidth for her character, so <laughs> probably, she wouldn't be able to even yeah. survive. Especially in the earlier versions of Fallout. Exactly. <laughs> she computers can't card? handle her. And we all know that we can't have vehicles in Fallout, so yeah, that wouldn't work out for her. It's a law. Yeah. Yeah. Watch as just as no one's tried. Everyone's walked past a vehicle and just went, eh, it won't work. I'm going to go with Eeyore. Or Eeyore. Ooh. Yeah. Piglet. Piglet <laughs> probably would not do well either. Actually, probably any, the whole Any of the family. Christopher Robin crew, really. Yeah, anybody from the 100 Acre Wood probably would not do well. <laughs> Maybe Tigger. I don't know. He just bounced on out, but. Mm-hmm. I have to say them all. Peace. Okay. I think we've topicked this to death. <laughs> Let's take a break and we'll come back with uh, some other exciting uh, discussion. All right. We'll be right back. Ever wanted to be a content creator but had no clue where to begin? Come join me as I sit down with content creators that have already faced the challenges you're up against as they discuss the tips and tricks that help them be successful here on The Content Creator's Guide. Available wherever podcasts can be found. Well, welcome back from these these messages. I hope the advertisement was good. There is probably one for Jaxus's show in there. It usually is. And anyways, welcome back to Fallout Roundtable. We just finished discussing different fictional characters that we think would do well or not do well in the Fallout universe. Which actually, like, as as Lawrence kind of mentioned. When we were taking our break, like it led to some really interesting ideas for different role plays you could do. I kind of like that that inspiration. But, anyways, that's that was five minutes ago. It's such old news. We're gonna move into a new topic, and because everyone and their dog are playing this new game going on right now, we're we're gonna talk about it because it's Fallout related, sort of. It's tangible. Also, we just want to talk uh, about it. Space, space. It is. Yeah. It's yeah. There you go. In case you're wondering, we're going to talk about Starfield. That's what that's what we're going to do. Okay. So very quick, let's go around the table here. Uh, I'll start. Uh, what level are you at? I am currently at level seven, and I've only very recently gotten off the first planet of Jemison. Really? John, no. Yeah. Sassy, your turn. Well, I'm level twelve, and I think I've been to. Maybe half a dozen planets. I just went to Mars last night and uh, thought about swinging by Earth, but I did not. I've oh, been also, to. We're keeping a spoiler free, just so you guys know. I've been to what Neon, and I've been to Aquila City, which are like main cities in the game. But I've not really, like, I've just, you know, it's like that typical. I get caught up in a bunch of side quests and forget to do the main quest. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. So yeah, I'm only level twelve. <laughs> yeah, typical, typical Bethesda stuff. Uh, we're the typical Minion. Bethesda game. <laughs> you guys, you guys haven't really played, so you're at level level zero, I guess. <laughs> level zero. That's all right. That's all right. We'll give you the pro tips today. <laughs> you can point out yes. how ridiculous it is. All the pro tips. Modus, right. Modus, what are you at? Um. 50? Oh, I, I, yeah, I actually just hit 55. Gross. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got the pro strat you figured play out, right? <laughs> Did you play early release, Lawrence? Uh, well, I got, I got, I got early release, not the early, early release. Yeah. I got it. I got the, the, um, the regular early release. The regular early yeah. release. Yeah. And I, uh, and, and yeah, and I've, I've been to a lot of places. I've done a lot of missions, uh, but I've also spent like hours just tweaking my starship. So, I've turned it yeah, into basically. I'm a... trying to do that. I'll have to yeah, ask you some I, questions. I'm waiting for I... the. <laughs> Once I figure out how that system works, that's all I'm going to be doing. I jumped into the ship editor and I was like, "This looks scary and intimidating. I'll do this later." <laughs> it's always but easy. For... It's better to start with a ship that you already have, and then like if you find one, and then you slowly start upgrading the pieces and you move things around. I mean, right. mine. I turned mine into basically it, it looks like a mini version of Battlestar Galactica now. Oh nice. So it's got it's got turrets. The original on. ship? Or did you build one? 
Uh, well, I started with. Frontier. I started with a ship that you find. No spoilers. Oh. And okay. and the, and then I've spent hours just slowly upgrading it, and I'm waiting to get the. I need a few more levels before I can get like the best of the best reactor because the energy management is actually extremely important with your ship. Yeah, that's that's what I'm starting to learn. My problem is so I, I don't usually play space games. I don't usually do any of that stuff. So I'm having a hard time with the space battles because I'm like, they're just zipping around and I'm like, I cannot follow them quickly enough to shoot them down. And I do not love that. So I have upgraded my engine. I have upgraded my grav. I've upgraded my shield. And I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know? Well, you figure it out. I mean, eventually you figure it out. And it's one thing I found in space battles is third person is best because okay. it gives you a lot. You can a actually see a lot more of the yeah field of vision is better. And you also just need to get your the, the, the controls you know where you know know which guns that you're shooting at any one yeah, time. Yeah, so. for sure. Because I keep going into because you know I'm still playing Fallout on the controller. <laughs> you know, I'm always hit the wrong button, so I keep hitting the stupid scanner when I'm trying to hit like bats or something, which we don't have. And I keep hitting scanner, and I'm like, oh my gosh, get out of that! Yeah, them um, to death. give them a digital virus. There you go. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, it's nutty. It. uh so like there's just been a couple of times like there was one time I was going on a mission and I traveled to a world and there were space pirates there and I just I tried that a couple of times and they I, they kept getting me and I just noped out I'm like I'm that mission another day <laughs> you know it's like I'll let that one go for now yeah man leave and come back later when you're at a better level exactly you have better like when I know what game. I'm doing I'll is it was just a just side mission I'm like do it later. <laughs> exactly. What was that? Get some note ropes. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the interesting thing about Starfield, I mean, it's we haven't had a new Fallout game in forever. I mean, I mean, seventy six is just about five years old now, mm -hmm. and a lot of us have been playing seventy six, and suddenly we're rolling into a single person role playing yeah. game again, and it's yeah. it's really weird to be like, wow, there's like a ton of NPCs around, and I can talk right. to them, and they right. give me missions, and I there's content. And yeah. things to do. I, yeah, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> it was like blowing my mind. Like the first time you're walking through New Atlantis, and I'm like, I was just like trying to walk from one side to the other, and it's like picked up like six quests. Didn't even talk to anybody. It was just like you overheard something. So it's like, boom, go find this. And it was like, I didn't even talk to you. <laughs> it's just like, bam. Yeah, you gotta you get those. Old, you gotta get those old Fallout Four shoes back on when you see Starfield. <laughs> uh huh. Just to get it back was in this wild, sort of and I was just like, okay, this is cool. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to try and do all the quests here. So, like, I didn't leave New Atlantis for, like, the longest time. And yeah, I was I mean, just like, man, I want to get off this planet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I will it's say that right also, now. just in general, like, from a, a bug and glitch perspective, I am astounded at actually how polished this game is. Like, it actually I, is, Yeah. It, and I've heard that there's been very few issues out of it. Yeah, and and yeah. and and the few issues that I found, which I is found surprising for Bethesda. Yeah, right. I'm I mean, actually, considering that you know we call it Bethesda, I'm almost yeah. disappointed. Really, I was like, really, come on, Bethesda, you could have let a few slip by. Jeez. Well, they did. It's like uh, sometimes the NPC will sit in the middle of the table. Mm -hmm. literally i don't know i don't know the, the dumbest thing i had was while i was talking to someone another npc came up and just they do they just get in the middle <laughs> of your conversation like you're talking to somebody and there's somebody just trying to walk between but i wouldn't call yet. that a bug like maybe maybe like, future maybe future humans are just rude maybe that's just what they do in it the starfield be. universe what if that's not actually a bug and that's just a cultural thing <laughs> like oh there are people having a conversation i better go stand in between them you're just like dude what are you doing as an arbitrary neutral third party in this conversation I was like okay did you want something <laughs> i did the same thing as you though sassy i spent so long in that first city that I, by the time i had finally left i was like thank god i never want to go to new atlantis again but you <laughs> I've do talked to every you have citizen. to you have to go back so, i'm wondering if i'm wondering if that's the right way to play this game or not like exploring every nook and cranny when you're there or if you should just like follow the quests you're interested in and move on with the game at that pace i don't know 
I don't know either. I mean, I, from what I've seen, I've seen so many people that are like, I beat the game. I beat the game. It's like because they just did the main quest. Yeah. And I'm like, the there's story. no way you're going to beat this game because every planet you go to, you pick up like 15 quests. There's no well, way you can beat this game. So, and again, keeping it spoiler free, people think this game has an ending. This game does not actually have an ending. So, I can't see how it could. So just don't, yeah. don't even think about it. It's like there's... You, people have probably heard um, what New Game Plus. I it, I don't know if that means anything to to you guys. Yeah, but I'm aware. But, yeah, but I mean, it's I am looking forward to that. But it, but before I even get to that, I literally want to do every possible thing that I can do in this universe because I just think, I mean, a lot of people are so complaints that people have had. Like they'll say, oh, there are too many loading screens, and oh, yeah. I want to land on the planet and everything. And and if you actually play the game, you notice. One, how slow you actually travel. Yeah, you do. And, and I'm like, yeah. wow, to get from orbit to landing right. would take you like an hour of game time. Are you really that interested yeah. that you do that? I'm like, no, get me to the planet so I can go kill right. things. I mean, yeah. think I about it. Do you really want to fly all that way through space? Do you really want to like jet your little thing? I want to drive through space. And am I the only one who's not like so everyone's been the talking about speed and try to stop on the next planet. Everyone's been <laughs> talking about these loading screens. And I don't I'm not noticing a problem. I'm, I mean am I, I doing was amazed. And I'm like, playing on a Series S, like the the weak the weaker console of the Xbox consoles. And it's yeah, like yeah. I mean going into uh going into uh the separate spaces, the instanced areas, it's not it's the load it's not like you gotta wait for a loading screen it's just yeah it's not like the fallout guy. games that i used to play where i'd be like time to get a snack you know and right you know, like i'll come back and i'll still be <laughs> I'll, I'll still be waiting to get in yeah. it's not like that mm -mm. no they're really quick everything's pretty smooth um i've not had issues at all I, the, oh, I did have one weird thing happen uh what was i doing i was doing something i think i was walking somewhere and i fell through but i didn't see a hole i don't know i just like fell through and landed in water and there was nothing around me except like up ahead there was like a square box with the like i thought it was a door but it had it was lit and then but you could like go in the box but the, nothing was in the box oh man it was, like, that's the end of the game you won you're done starfield <laughs> i'm just gonna reload the last save and then it was fine from that i was like i don't know what that was but yeah. well you, you, you as long there's as it's not a death loop you're fine there yeah. I mean, you can definitely tell that certain aspects of this game were, were built before 76. Mm -hmm. So, like, like photo mode, I think, is a great example of something that obviously predated what they did in 76. And, I, and a, I, that's one complaint that I have, is, like, give my character expressions that will uh, change. Well, I, I, I just commented. I was just, I was just on, on uh, whatever, social media, and, and every time I try to take a, a, a selfie of my character, her eyes are closed. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, open your eyes. And like every time you, see, or they're like, like she looks like she's drugged. Like she's like, uh, yeah. you know. I'm just like, yeah. so, well, yeah. and and it also stops like when you do photo mode, it it literally it stops, stops every everything. everything. Yeah, so. it's hmm. wild. Yeah, yeah, I was in a bar and I was taking a picture of her at the bar, and like everybody around stopped. It was like when I took the picture of her dancing on the bar. No, wait, did they like freeze frame yes. stop or did they Everybody just idle freezes. animation? Because that would no. be, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Every, everything <laughs> freezes when you open photo mode. I mean, that just... that kind of makes sense to me personally, but whatever. yeah, I mean, but, I mean, it's just weird. Yeah, I mean, yeah, from photo a... mode is weird. Um, the other thing, storage storage is weird. Like I'm still trying to get used to storage. Yeah, because you've got you got. Oh the... man. Yeah, so many times I've unloaded my ship into my own inventory. I'm like, ah, that's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Wait, you can unload your entire ship inventory into your pockets? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, because whenever you're Girl, so like, I'm trying to sell something to a vendor, and you can sell directly from your ship or from you, or you can take it from your. I don't know. It's crazy. I can't wait for the web comics of of that situation to finally be produced. This is like I'm trying to put something in the ship and I'm taking it. For, I don't know. I think oh. it, I don't know if it was that or when I was trying to load up Vasco and I ended up taking everything out of my ship into my pockets instead of giving it to him. And I'm like, the hell am I doing? Yeah. Oh, quick it's, question. It's, what, what are your 
So you guys, so you two have obviously run into Sarah Morgan. What are your thoughts on Sarah Morgan, the first, the first companion other than Vasco the robot that you get? I like her accent. <laughs> I literally, so because of the fact that last night I just decided I better get back to the main quest. I just picked her up as a companion. We've done okay. one quest together. She's, and she is she's really. Okay. She, she's okay she's got some really great dialogue as you get yeah. further along and and but she is really difficult to romance like really difficult to romance and is she it, no, is it because she's got a high she's got a high standard or is she just an insufferable woman i don't know well, <laughs> just kidding. well she, she hates everything anything bad she hates thank you yeah thank like, you like like you murder someone in front of her and she gets offended i don't oh, know you. what to do with her i i did notice like you know, when I was doing my dialogue options and I was like, should I choose this or this? And then I was like, ah, eh, whatever, I'll be nice. And I did that. And it was like, she likes that. And I'm like, oh, you're a goody two shoes. <laughs> she is. She hates it when you do. Man, she dislikes so many things that I do that I didn't realize were bad. And then she snarks at me when I did the tree side quest on New Atlantis. <laughs> Oh, and I did she that was like, her. we shouldn't be doing this. We should go to whatever. If you want to do stuff with a tree, I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> you know? And I I'm just like, Sarah, shut up. Her, I, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like her. Very... Me and my brother agree. Like, we hate Sarah Morgan so much. Tell her to just go back to her where she came from. And I know. but So uh... I, I I hired a guy for my crew. Um, Simeon? Simeon? Whatever, however you say his name is. I just call him Sam. <laughs> I hired him from the bar. I only have a boring uh, fan, so... I picked him up, not the adoring fan. Um, I hired him for my crew and I've been running around with him and he's like super nice because he's like, so that was one thing I noticed about her. So anytime like, you know how, okay, so like you're picking stuff up because yes, I'm still a hoarder in this game because I need money. And yeah. Vasco is like, I really don't think you should pick up all these things. You really should yeah. leave some of that behind and blah, 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 right? And Sam's like, here, can I take that for you? Should I should I carry that for you? You know, I've got room in my bag if you need that. And here's Sarah like, can you just leave that garbage there? Like, stop picking everything up. I'm like, shut, shut up, up Sarah. Bitch, I need some money. No one asked your opinion. <laughs> Sam, like, thank you for you. affirming my what emotion. I was about ready to just turn around and say, you know what? You're going to carry Paul it all now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is like that from Paul Tree. Yeah. Uh, I mean... I mean, if we think about the if we think about all the different systems that they put into the game, so you got the main game, which is kind of at at its heart an RPG. Mm -hmm. um, then you've got the the ship building, right? Which which in my mind is actually the way. I mean, that's where the game absolutely shines. Like once you actually get into ship building and you understand it, yeah, it it is you can spend it hours doing nothing but that, and then you roll into outpost building. Yeah. Which is like an entirely different set of things, which is mm -hmm. which combines, you know, like building houses and in fallout. Resources I mean, that's, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, and that's it's just it blows me away. I mean, this is mm -hmm. the game I, I did not expect Starfield to be this game at well, all. They said there's like five ways you can play, you know, all these different things. Cause if you want space battles, you got space battles. You can build your spaceships, you can build outposts mm -hmm. like camps, you know. Or you can just adventure or, you know. You can be a pirate. You can literally go uh -huh. and just, like, if you don't care about getting a bounty, you just go and yeah. you, like, you know, take out a ship's engines. Hey, I'm going to murder the entire crew and steal yeah. the ship or whatever. Well, yeah. Finally. And just collect <laughs> ships, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's really, wild. I mean, you can be, you can le legitimately be the bad guy, which has mm -hmm. been... I mean, the main quest kind of puts you on the thing, but I mean, there are lots of the side quests. It's like you can really make bad choices. Uh, yeah. So one of the side quests that I'm doing currently is I'm working for the uh, that big corporation at Neon, mm -hmm. um, the one that does the little base things, line yeah, thing, whatever. Yeah, I got a job with them, so I'm doing corporate espionage. Had a girl. But yeah. They pay I, a lot of money, so I'm like, yeah, okay, why not? I have, I, I, I'll expensive. plant some evidence on that guy who knows uh, nothing about it. <laughs> I, I have not, I, I, I have not done that yet because uh -huh. I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to leave Sarah at home so she does not see all the bad stuff that I'm about to do. Darn it! So I haven't finished that quest, and I just picked her up. You see, I'm not trying to romance her. I could care less. Reminded me of Fallout One. Hey, can you say a little louder into my jacket pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, there is a lot of stealth and, and spying and, and, yep. and I just picked up the pickpocketing skill. I mean, there's a lot that you can do mm -hmm. 
that's just off the beaten track. I mean, I I can't see a way that I don't know if there's a way that you couldn't play this game. I mean, I think that yeah. there's just so many different ways to kind of do everything, and 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 the fact that it is primarily a bug free experience, mm -hmm. and I can imagine that there's going to be several significant dlcs oh my gosh yes and a lot of mods oh and the mods yeah i mean I can't, good I lord people are gonna be mod. bringing star wars in and and all kinds of stuff i mean we're gonna have mods for days yeah, I, I feel like when they made the most of this game's map completely empty space they were like the, the modders will fill it somebody will figure it out yeah. <laughs> they'll fill this empty space with <laughs> yeah. lots well, of stuff i heard somebody said oh they made it too big the map is too big they put too much in well, technically, isn't I mean, it actually the size? They probably could have like made the... it a lot smaller, and we would have been happy. It's it's a lot smaller in like terms of actual game than the actual. Mm -hmm. You can fly technically between any of the areas, right? But it's mostly just empty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I yeah. mean, I mean, most of the planets are procedurally generated, so you'll land on it and you'll find things that are around. Yeah. Um, so it's not, you know, that's not. I won't say that's great, but I mean, I think the core part of the game is just, yeah. I mean, Bethesda, Bethesda did it. I mean, I, I, I think people really were losing their faith in them as a company because of some of the things that they've done. And now I can look at it and be like, well, okay, we had to suffer with like, say 76 because they were making Starfield. Yeah. It was like, it was obvious where all the resources went. Yeah. Well, and right. 76 was a different game. It was a live service game, and they made it better. Right. They made it great, man. Like 76. They did. Oh, oh, yeah. I think, I think they made it. But this, something like, really Starfield is a clear, it's like single player experiences they shine at, uh, which is weird because a lot of people so on the internet are like, this game sucks. It's so horrible. But I think it's just part of the, the trend in gaming now is to I hate don't things. I see a lot of that, though. But yeah, you do see it. But, you know, oh, the yeah, haters I, are I gonna see it be everywhere. Loud. But it, I think it's just people who aren't playing the game are commenting on how it sucks or something like that. And isn't that it always issues, the case? Like, it's like, have it's, you actually played the game? You know, yeah, it's like you I, I think it's fun. I, see, the only thing, honestly, I'm I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I am because the only I'm disappointed. It's in not it. my genre, and it's not. You know, I'm like, man, I'm not going to want to fight in space and whatever. But I, I'm actually having fun. Oh yeah, it's fun. The only thing I don't like isn't even about the game. It, it's a the lack of accessibility features. And I like, and that's not because I'm like, oh, I need all these features to play this game. I'm just like, this is the biggest game in years to come, and not having any accessibility says a lot about the the industry. And that's, but that's not even about the game. That's my only real gripe. But well, I'm I sure they'll just, add that stuff in. I was just surprised they didn't go back and update the photo mode, considering you know what they uh, gave us in '76. I mean, or the, the maps, like they... the surface maps, actually. You know what? That sucks. And there maps, you go. yes. Why don't we have <laughs> there maps? There we go. That's the part that sucks yes. so bad. The maps. Why don't we have maps? Because, oh, holy God, it would be nice to know where the heck I am on the surface. Yeah, it's, it's really good out there. And All right, you can only and, see and where you are in space. With, with, with your vast Starfield experience, what's your favorite part of the game so far? <laughs> you get to customize your stuff. See, she's on it. She knows. Every, I think a lot of, like if Honestly, you don't that's my know what Starfield is right now, you're you're not a you're not any type of gamer <laughs> at all. <laughs> ah no. Everyone's into different stuff and that's fine you play too. Yeah, some people just love some people just they like RTSs or something. A lot of people are playing StarCraft still and they're like, meh. I'll stick with StarCraft, no field, thank you. you very much. Minion had an answer. Warpath, what's your favorite part of StarField so far? Oh, just the sheer amount of options that you have. If you want to be the good guy, you can be the good guy. If you want to be the evil butt dumpling, go for it. Yeah, it's well, funny because I actually got put in jail once. And uh, they they did actually put me in jail. And, like, nothing really happened. I, you know, it was like, oh, you're going to jail. And then next thing I know, I'm, like, in the jail. But I walked out. Like, nobody said anything. I was like, all right, bye. I was just upset because they took all my stolen goods away, and I thought I'd saved them because I stashed them all on my ship. They yeah, took them that, from my ship. <laughs> that only that only works if you have shielded containers, and you have to get those from like. Oh, but I guys. learned how to launder. Do you know how to launder? Yes, I do know how to launder. I learned I how to launder. <laughs> I was like, dude, I can launder my stolen goods now. <laughs> We're talking about in game, right? Sassy, wink, wink. Yes, in game. Cool. Yes. All right.
final rating on Starfield for you guys, or any last comments that you want to give? Well, I'm seven out of ten. Well, <laughs> just kidding. I'm, just kidding. I'm gonna give it like an I'm gonna give it like an eight point five, and I think modders would actually get that to like a nine plus for me um, once they do it. But I I like I said I, I would just say that it is it is such so different than seventy six. I'm enjoying that, but I'm also not trying to leave 76 behind like I, I i love fallout and i want to keep doing that but i have a new shiny so i really yeah. have to like 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 play with the new shiny for a while i, oh, yeah. I get it i get it man <laughs> any any advice that you want you level 55 or that you want to give uh new players yeah, give us little people <laughs> um i mean inventory management is is pretty important and i think you have yeah. to real and, and because we're so used to collecting everything also don't like junk in the game like I, I know sassy collects it for the money or whatever but actually you make a ton more money running missions yeah so mm -hmm. really the only thing you need to worry about is your um any resources that you think you might need and then um and, oh ammunition is always going to be a problem so so gathering really? yeah ammunition is always a problem you never have enough of it so never so don't ever stick with just one gun because nah, you're never, yeah. never going to have enough ammunition for it. So you kind of have to spread your skills across multiples. I've heard that. Yeah. So. Unless um, you play melee. <laughs> yeah. Melee is actually really, really powerful. Too. Oh. Heck yeah. Maybe I will play melee. I haven't done that yet in a Bethesda game in general. I did. I, I did find a very. Um, it looked like a pretty decent knife. Um. I mean, I could give that a shot and see how that does. Sassy, what are your uh, final comments and any advice to give? I don't know about advice. I don't know if I have any advice. Well, you're still early. At, see, like, the problem with Emotus here is, is he's so far ahead. It's I mean, he's way to, ahead of me, yeah. This, it's, it's like me and trying I'm, to think back to, I don't know, level one of something. And just but I totally get the whole new shiny thing. Because, I mean, you know, like... So, like, I when Hogwarts Legacy came out and I was playing that and you know for a long time and but this is like this is more of a pull on me than Hogwarts did. Yeah. Um it's crazy. Like I will sit down and play this and this has been a long time since I've done anything crazy like this. I like will be up at like two, three o'clock in the morning and I'm like, holy crap. Where where did the last <laughs> three hours go? I mean, because I'll be like, oh it's only eleven thirty. We'll just finish this up. And then I'm like does that say three? Oh my gosh. Like yeah. where, you know, the time just disappears when you're playing this game. It's true. It's true. It's nuts. But it's fun and it just, you know. It's great. It's really it's a, good. It's a classic, classic with it. There's just so much to see and so much to do and everything looks amazing. All right. Well, I don't want to hold us in here anymore and keep us away from this great game. So let's, uh, let's everyone go. <laughs> We're all going to go play. <laughs> uh let, let's uh i'll say goodbye and thank you warpath and minion for joining as guests on today's show i love the topic it was great and yeah, thanks for putting up with the a great topic chat. yeah i'm glad you hang, hung up for it um but yeah uh, that's that's everything thanks for everyone listening to follow it roundtable again if you want to send us a message uh let's i know how annoying my voice is it's followed rtb at gmail.com you can follow us on x twitter uh follow our tb or you can also join us on YouTube and watch a bunch of talking heads if that's what you're into. Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, let's say bye. Bye. All right. Bye. -bye. bye now. Bye. This podcast is part of the Robots Radio Rocket Club, a program designed to help all podcasts reach their full potential. For information about joining the Robots Radio Rocket Club, check out robotsradio.net.